Hello class, my name is Matthew Millar and I will be talking about the project I worked on for project manage management in week 7. Um, this project was supposed to be a group setting, however with my hectic work schedule I did not work in a group set setting and did all this um, by myself. Um, it definitely taught me some valuable lessons and why of course teamwork is essential for anything in life, project management especially. Um, I am glad that I went ahead and was able to go ahead and do and work this by myself because there's so many facets and interesting things um, that I was able to explore and dive in the ways I kind of wanted to without worrying about, you know, you know, other people's opinions and other people's, um, you know, how they want to do it and things of that nature. Um, that is valuable in teamwork, getting different opinions, different analytical viewpoints, things of that nature. But in this case I did I was glad that I was able to do this myself so I'm going to go ahead and go through all the questions that were presented um, in the week 7 final project presentation page and kind of just go over my thoughts and my how I worked everything by myself first one is summarize the development process your team followed for the project planning phase from your perspective um, essentially how I did this was I broke down what project would I be interested in doing if I was a project manager um, I work at a financial, I work at a credit union where I touch multiple things, I work with multiple managers, and one of the things that have always interested me is creating an internal loan application program because we have one that I help test and launch uh, for online membership apps for just being like a regular member of savings checking, but not for loans. We don't have anything like that, anything like that for loans. So I decided to go ahead and first hit that project and then kind of that subject and then kind of take um, you know lessons I learned from my own experiences and apply to them with how they would work with like loan officers and loan advisors and you know things that we would need to think of and kind of just go from there and, and plan how that platform would work on the loan side and then of course so I mentioned the project loan officers need their own platform to review the loan application approve it deny it um, request documents things of that nature excuse me so thinking about those aspects is kind of how I started planning things and planning budgets and getting to all that good stuff second is what were the successes in the development of the project plan um, <clears throat> excuse me everything in terms of development and success I think came down to just making sure all the details of this project were would be met in the real world scenario um, this would be something very extensive you need to go ahead and have multiple things uh, making sure the flow of the loan application platform um, for member facing is you know good it is something easy it is something that excites people to go ahead and you know want to apply and on the loan platform for the um, you know the loan advisors making sure that everything would be um, if I was doing this in the real world application would be everything would be easy good to see understandable they understand what they're reviewing how what the criteria is things of that nature um, so being really detailed to go ahead and hit those keys um, you know making sure that um, everything mat makes sense um, if there's any contracts which in my case I only said that one out contract would be needed as with the credit bureau and the credit bureau I think it was TransUnion um, and just make sure you hit all those points would be like the success successes and how how this project would be successful in real life um, the challenges in developing the project plan is I'm personally not a loan advisor or a loan officer I do not know how loans particularly work um, lucky for me I do have some friends that are loan officers and kind of you know I kind of seen you know their process and they've talked to me a little bit about it but like I personally don't I never touched a loan and I probably will not um, so understanding how that works and then how making that into a project where loan officers um, you know this were ever to happen had an easy time working through things that was probably the challenge mentally going through doing all the the scheduling the budget costs um, the quality assurance plans things of that nature like making sure all that fits and then of course I'm you know web development team I've worked with them in the past but I haven't you know actually done web development work so having like understanding their processes on the back end um, and like how they would implement this project and make sure everything works that's also another challenge I had to uh, overcome or at least think about in this scenario lessons can be applied to future projects 
Um, having a little bit more experience in the subject you're working with, yes, I do work on the financial, like I've, I've stated a couple times, but not knowing how loans work or anything really about loans and how you know they're approved or denied, maybe it's challenging because I mostly focus on the platform, yes, but in the real world application, and when I say that, I mean the creation of the platform, but you know, in, you know, in realistic terms, I wouldn't know the first thing about what they look for for proven, what they look for for denying a loan app, what, what on the credit score or the credit report would trigger flags. Um, what would happen if those flags were triggered and what documents to ask. So essentially knowing more about the subject that you're doing the project on is vital. Even knowing people enough, you know, knowing resources and individuals that can help you with this project um, would be absolutely ideal and key to going ahead and making sure everything is done um, to successful and an efficient time and an efficient manner. Um, what topics from the course were the most helpful in developing the project plan? Um, I would say um, risk management and the um, first couple where you go at first couple chapters where you focus on scheduling because as easy as it sounds or easy as at least when I was reading the chapters I thought it was scheduling things was entirely hard. It was you know how long do you go ahead and have a test or test for? How long do you go ahead and have? like a realistic timeline for like a web development team to test, you know, things of that nature and to getting that knowledge and knowing how to t like how to set up a, a Gantt chart perfectly and, and you know, hopefully getting realistic times um, is key and is key for any project. And I think it helped me out a little bit because after that was done, I can flesh things out and kind of make more sense and, and go from there. Um, topics from the course that were least useful in developing the project plan. Um, I would say the chapter that we recently read on procurement, um, about procurement plans and things of that nature, didn't deal with that a ton in this. I did make a communications plan and how that would work, but I felt like that was really only a small aspect um, of how, you know, that was into the project that I made. Um, how old do we think as a team? Well, I did not do this, unfortunately, as a team. Um, I think it would have been interesting to do this as a team because um, you know assigning roles just like project management in real life assigned who would work on the scheduling who would work on the budget cost analysis analysis who would work on um, you know documentation things of that nature um, you know not knowing the classmates well enough to know their strengths and weaknesses I think that would have been a very interesting aspect to deal with what could I have done better um, I feel like what I could have done better maybe was the presentation a little bit um, more detailed. I feel like I did a pretty good over jo overall overall job, and you'll see that shortly. Uh, but there are so many things that working by myself I might have maybe forgotten that once I submit this, um, I'll realize. Um, I think I got everything, you know, generally overall that you need for like a presentation format. If I was presenting to real life stakeholders and VPs, which is what you'll see in my presentation, how I managed to go ahead and do that, um, but maybe working with a team a little bit more would have would maybe flush some things out. So, like I said, the presentation you'll see shortly is if I was an actual project manager and how I would present the project to a group a room or a group of stakeholders. And I hope you do enjoy. Thank you.